Did you know that more than 5 billion people are using the internet? What would happen if you couldn't access the internet? Nowadays, being able to access information online is crucial to everyday life for education, healthcare, and employment opportunities, and to be part of a digital society in general. Unfortunately, persons with disabilities cannot benefit from information, products, and services like other citizens due to the fact that websites and their content have not been designed with the needs in mind, and therefore are not accessible. There is a global commitment to ensure that persons with disabilities can fully and equally access information and communication. To ensure an equal access to information and communication, countries are developing regional national laws and regulations intended to make public websites accessible. To support the creation of inclusive digital societies globally, ITU has developed Internet for All, a five-day web accessibility program that equips countries and regions with the necessary knowledge and tools to make sure that no one is left behind in the digital age. The first step is creating political buy-in. Through an executive workshop for decision makers, participants will develop expertise in ICT accessibility and deepen their knowledge about the positive impact on the digital inclusion of persons with disabilities can have, not only on their personal development, but also on the social economic growth of their counties and regions. The second step builds capacity in developing accessible digital content. Participants will learn how to make digital content accessible in different formats during a two-day in-person training session, during which they will also learn how to pass on their knowledge to others. The validation of these skills will be done jointly with end users, persons with disabilities. Although relevant to all content providers, this course especially targets government communications staff who will further share their knowledge within their work environment. The third step builds capacity in designing and developing accessible website structures according to the WCAG guidelines and principles. During the course, which targets government IT staff, persons with disabilities will validate the work for usability and compliance. After a two-day in-person training, Participants will continue working on the accessibility of their respective websites with ITU instructors online. The fourth step, recognizing the role that academia plays in shaping evolving societies. ITU will offer the training curriculum to participating technical universities. This empowers them to become the providers of web accessibility training, thereby building a pool of national experts who will support the public and private sectors to build websites with information and services accessible to all. The fifth step. The added value of this program is its self-sustainability and the involvement of all stakeholders in the information chain, from government and academia through to end users. Through a national certification scheme, this program not only builds knowledge on how to develop accessible websites, but will also generate a fund to train the end users on how to use these websites so they may benefit from information, products, and services like all other citizens. By empowering themselves through this program and ensuring all citizens have equal web access, governments will develop national capacities in digital accessibility according to international standards become role models in web accessibility and inspire other countries to implement similar policies. Lead by example, incentivizing the private sector to follow suit. Create an inclusive society by reducing inequalities and supporting the socioeconomic development of persons with disabilities. Ensure that all their citizens can equally participate in and contribute to the economic development of their country.